Hey everybody, it's your girl Tiff. Welcome back to Open Bar Podcast, where the conversation is never on the rocks, but it's straight up, no chaser. So my good people. I was supposed to introduce you. Huh? Yeah, no. no, I shouldn't have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to introduce me. Okay. They knew who I am. They knew who I is. Well, still, it's been a minute, so let the people know who you are. Your boy CFO back in the building. Back, back in, in the back building. on the podcast. You gonna say that? What's the deal? How you feeling today? I'm good. A one. How you feeling? I heard you had a hard time at your birthday. I mean for your birthday. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Happy belated. <laughs> Happy birthday. I just turned 35, okay? Well, 21. No, but I'm blessed to still be here, especially through this pandemic. Um, it's been a lot going on. And excuse my absence, guys. I had to one too many uh bay vacations. Wait, 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 you said vacations or vacations? They, they, oh. they, 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 because I was on vacation uh-huh. and I was with my bay. <laughs> and we was vacationing But that's another story But yeah, it's Excuse my absence I'll just, you know You know, marry you back now Having fun, enjoying life As all of you guys should have been doing But anyways I'm back um, We got a lot of New up and coming things So y'all stay tuned Okay I appreciate the ones who are tuning in and listening. Yo, you seen the the, uh, the Germany? Yeah, it's they listen you know. From Germany. I I'm excited because it's like you guys are. I'm not even posting anything, and you guys are still tuning in, listening, and that's that's really dope. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, I I appreciate y'all for that. That's dope. Shout out to y'all. That is so dope. But don't worry, cause I got more. To come, I have special guests. Um, we're gonna start doing videos soon, so y'all check yes, us out sir. on the YouTube channel. Um, what else? Before we gonna start selling merch. Oh yeah, we got the shot glasses. Oh yeah, them shot glasses is dope. O- open bar, <laughs> open bar. Can't, it was an open bar without the shot glasses. You can't, you can't, cause it's when you get to the bar, that's the first thing that you should do. Run those shots up. Take. A motherfucking shot. What's your go-to drink? Oh, my gosh. Don Julio Anejo. Mm-hmm. I don't even, like, um, I don't even That's think mine. I'm, like, you know, into mixed drinks like that. Like, I'm just taking shots more so anything. I might have a yeah, mimosa like here or there, but I'm taking shots. I'm taking shots. That's all I do. I, I'm only messing with the Don Julio Anejo. Drinking out the bottle. I used to drink everything. 1800, Seagram's. Hennessy. Oh, yeah, that's everything. I ain't doing all that. I think I used to just be on, like, Hennessy back then in the clubs, you know. Adios. back then? You sound like... I mean, didn't I just say I'm 21, 35? You know oh, me? okay, yeah. You sound you like... You know, I'm just <laughs> back in my, my 18, 19, you know, when I wasn't supposed <sighs> to be in the club and I was drinking. Oh, you were sneaking. yeah. I didn't. I didn't have a drink until I was twenty one, so I I can't say well, that. Back they, then. I, it, hey, I don't know who used to buy <laughs> us drinks. But don't tell nobody. They was that. De- yeah, we ain't we ain't snitching no. <laughs> you know we ain't no snitches over here, but yeah, we was we were drinking. Okay. You ever had Mad Dog twenty twenty? <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh ain't that my. the ain't that the colorful shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. I ain't heard none of that. My mom and dad got me drunk. Ooh. Shout yeah. out to mom and dad. Oh, hey. Yeah, it runs <laughs> in the family, okay? No, look, no, for real, when I, the day I graduated, they bought me a bottle of champagne, y'all, and it was Andre. Oh, my God. First of all, who drinks that $4 no, bottle of champagne? first of, of all, champagne? who the fuck is Andre? <laughs> <laughs> who is that nigga? Why y'all drinking on that? Why are you drinking on that? What the fuck? Oh, no, I just remember they got me that shit. And oh, my mom and dad, I gave y'all a shout lit. out. Y'all didn't care, care. They they didn't. They was like, shit, <laughs> nigga, we made, we made it, okay? 
That's lit though. You know, but yeah, yeah. I got drunk. As I well. think for um, my first drink, my mama, one of my mama's friends gave me a uh, a pint of Hennessy. What already? Yeah, pint of Hennessy, twenty first birthday. All right, shout out to uh, mama friend. Right. I forgot who it was, too. But why? Okay, so this is the thing I really want to know. Like, you know, like, when one thing is popping, everybody be on that shit? And and to, and mm-hmm. to be honest, to that shit been out. To my Casamigos? <laughs> that shit been out. That's what you're talking about? Casamigos? You know, it could be Casamigos. It could be Don Julio and they hoe now. Like, this shit been out. This yeah. shit ain't came out yesterday <laughs> or in the pandemic. It's- like... Everything that I've been, everything that I catch on to, I kind of like, I kind of test everything. And then I'll be like, okay, this is what I'm going with. So when everybody else started feeling like they like that shit, that already But I feel like the older that you're getting, you should know what you like. Yeah, because you know what, how you, you wake know, up in the morning. Exactly. It could be a <laughs> wine, you know. Some people are in the red, red, uh, red wines, you know. Some people are in the, um, God damn it. White wines? Is that what you're talking about to say? No, I was going to say white, but, it, you know, there's different types of white. Oh, yeah. So I was going to name them, but I couldn't get it out. Is it they white Zippendale? I guess Moscato. that's what it's Yeah, Moscato. God damn it. It's, it's a lot of them. my tongue, and I can't get it out. Y'all got the point. Right. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> it's open bar, so it's everything up in here, okay? Yeah. Everything. Everything, everything. That's how we doing it, though. What's up, Tiff? You said you seem a little tense, man. What's going on? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just you still see. recovering. Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, your birthday? Man, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a day. I ain't going to say night because I didn't make it to the night. Yeah. I'm not going to say I ever had a day like that. And and I don't, I can't tell you. That just goes to show I was you out turned. before six, okay? Turned out before six, like the whole restaurant was just buying me shots. Turned super turned in the restaurant, though. In a restaurant, though, turned that's crazy. You should be ashamed of yourself. I feel it's so embarrassed twerking in front of people in front of burritos. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, can I eat my burrito, my nigga? Hell no. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was at the strip club. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Going the fuck up. Yeah, I was going. I was going to. I, that was a good day. Yeah. Even though I don't remember it, but well, the celebration to it, that. It was a good day. Celebration to that. Happy belated. Happy birthday. You feel me? Yay. Mine was last month. You know, the first. Oh, so that makes you a what? Virgo. Yuck. Okay, cool. We moving on to the next conversation. <laughs> We not gonna get into the uh, the Virgo Libra thing. Cause, what yeah. Libras is dope. E- everybody out there has a Libra <sighs> friend, a well, Libra no, I... significant other, a Libra colleague. Whatever you want to call it, we are everywhere. You can't get rid of us. Crazy ass Libras. Oh well, some people make us crazy, so it is what it is. Okay, cool. Don't talk about us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we'll begin in today, man. We're going to have a conversation. We'll be having a conversation about today. What's on the agenda? We're going to have a conversation about you Virgos. No, we're not. No, just We're definitely not doing that. No, just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not into the sign thing, so I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even care. Like, it is what it is. I hate when somebody be like, oh, what sign are you? You're a Libra. Like, ugh. Just like C4 just, like just, just did. No, you just did me like that. No, I said I was Virgo. Just, you I said that. Uh. I was just kidding. I'm my my dad's a Virgo, my brother's a Virgo, so I'm surrounded by you people. You people. I'm just like <laughs> she's racist. That was that's a racist comment right there. I'm that was playing. fucking racist. No, I'm just playing. No, I I, I love you guys, so you know Turn it up. is what it is. Turn vivid. But um, we back. What's been going on? Man, I've been going through some stages. I've been editing the video for damn near six months. I just Why? got cussed out today. <laughs> like, bro, what you doing, man? Like, man, just going through it. Uh, creative blocks sometimes, you know. Yeah, Gotta happens. get back on it. So I'm what do you do to, you know, get out of that? I drink Don Leo. That's not going to solve it after yeah, so long. It, it helps me get over it. Oh, it does? Yeah. Do I sound it. like I, an alcoholic right now. I, mean, I should not bar, be invited back bar, to the Apple bar. The open bar is open all night. 
Damn, I should we not be back. We taking shots all night. See? And that's how I get over it. Boom. But I'm back now, though, so. You back. Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm excited to have this video going the next the next couple episodes and yeah. see how we do with that on the YouTube and other platforms. Yeah, it's going to be so dope, guys. Please check us out. And, you know, again, there's any topics, anything y'all want to talk about. Tap in. Email me, dog. Tap the fuck Email in. me, dog. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. That's just what came to mind. It's mm. this um, Carlos Rossi. Drinking wine. Carlos Rossi. That's what it's called, guys. Sangria. It's wine. Okay, look. So I um, not only, you know, have I been having fun, but I also have been um, protecting my peace. Mm. Um. That's been very important to me lately. And what I mean by that is just, like, people I've been surrounding myself with. Um, oh. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot on me. I'm a people person, a people pleaser, and I feel like I pour a lot out to people, and a lot of people don't um, do the same for you. Do the same for me. Sounds about right. So... I just been in my own zone lately. A lot of people will be like, oh, are you okay? And yeah, I'm good. But, you know, I've just been chilling. Something that I normally don't know how to do because I'm turn up Tiff 24-7, you know? Mm. That's what they call you? Baby, be my piece. I mean, shit, every day, mm-hmm. every night, mm-hmm. every weekend. Tiff, what you doing? Pull up, come here, do this. Like... Tired. Oh, that's that. Never mind. I ain't gonna say that. No, I say it. We talking. We at the open. That's that. That's that. Thirty five hitting your ass in the head. I mean, it might be, or it might be that I'm just on to different things now. You feel me? Bigger and better. So you got to grow out of out of out of people, just like you grow out of everything else. Yeah, and I'm ready. Some people don't fit into your vibe, so you gotta like you know excuse yourself. I'm ready for it. You know how you leave out the party on the sneak tip. Mm. You're like, oh, I came. I, I don't want to go, but I'm going to come. I'm going to show my face. I'm going to leave. Like, don't even. Don't, is that rude? <laughs> no. So, like, no, for real. Because it's out. like, if it's your homie, like, I don't be one to say bye. I just be like. Sometimes they be like having to too much fun for you to say bye. They be turning up. You be like, I don't want to go. It don't matter. And, and, that's and your homie, your day one, whoever you supposed to say bye, right? Mm, you ain't supposed yeah. to just walk out. Yeah, yeah. But I've gotten to the point to where, like, I'm about to just go. Because I know if I say I'm about to go, I'll be like, <laughs> No, why? why are you leaving? Wait! Yeah. Oh, right. we're going to do this! We ain't did shit 10 minutes ago. So I'm about <laughs> to go. <laughs> I'll call me later, all right? You feel me? But so you sheepy, you sleepy. Hey, you know, this is Open Bar Podcast, but shit, as much as you intake, yeah, you do get sleepy. You get tired. tired. You know what I'm saying? I go all wears you out, especially if you're not keeping yourself hydrated. So, so you're saying you don't be drinking water? Oh, I do. I just don't think I drink enough. No, oh, okay. You know, no, it makes so, sense. So you've been you've been weeding people out, then. That's what yeah. you're saying. Not weeding them out, but kind of like gauging your your Bye. piece. If it ain't if it ain't beneficial to your peace, then you no, kind of like yeah, dismissing not. yourself. And that it's not e- and right. it's not even um, nothing bad, right? Like somebody did something to me. It just be can it just you could just be like a drama friend, and you could be like, girl, whoa, 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 whoa. like I don't have the energy to intake that. Right, I, I don't want to hear it. Not today. Positive vibes only. You feel me? Like that that mentally wears on me. You feel me? You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how I'm feeling today. You don't know nothing. That's, that'll be a dope shirt. Put on uh, positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. Yeah, we're gonna have this merch. We about to get this merch going up and going for everybody so we can get this get this ish going. No, it's going. We ain't gotta get it going. It's going. Positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. Mm-hmm. But yeah. It's good. How y'all protecting y'all peace? I need to know. Yeah, if you got any any questions, any 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 response to anything we saying, just go ahead and hit us on the Instagram or shoot us an email. What's the email? 
uh, info at openbarpodcast.com. God damn it, we got another one? No, nah, we got two. One of them is a Gmail, and the other one is an info. I just know Open Bar Podcast TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be the website soon. You got to get all. We got to get all this yeah, together. Yeah, I know. You know I this, know, but you got to be true know, to this. I know. know. I'm just being funny. Don't worry about it. But um, we looking at we looking into moving into another location to to try to like you know up it to where we have better, bigger, I'm and at. better people they, at. They I know. I'm know. saying you know we gotta you know what I mean. I don't even know where I'm at. I could be outside, y'all, <laughs> in a cardboard box. <laughs> y'all don't know where I'm at. It's all good. No, nah, but we we are going to move to a different location because we're going to start doing video versus the audio thing. Um, I want y'all to see me. I'm something to look at, okay? You about to be dressed up every week, man. I ain't got to be dressed every up. Every two days, every three mm, days. I'm going to be me. So if, so you so come, if I got my bonnet on. Oh, shit. No, nah, just laying. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if that's what Y'all you want to do, that's what you want to do. Either way, okay? Fucking bonnet. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be the Bonnet Chronicles, okay? Hey. Open After bar. dark. You can't go in the club with a bonnet on. You go to the club with a bonnet on, you going to get kicked out. Listen, I could bling out my bonnet. Oh, bling out You feel out me? Bonnet? I don't, I can. Mm-mm. You going to no. bling a bonnet out? <laughs> what? How you going to do that? They can put rhinestones on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, put a tail. I don't know. Figure it out. Shit. You know how many people create shit on a daily basis? It could be my own personal bonnet. Oh, okay. On my podcast. Oh, okay. Boom. There you have it. Bling down bonnets coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. That's, that's a little ghetto. I ain't. Yeah, hey, exactly. I'm a, I'm, just... <laughs> I was just being funny, but I'm just saying, like, you know. I mean, some people probably wear that thing. Just, I don't know if you're going to wear no blinged out bonnet to sleep. The rhinestones will come out, yeah, go on your why nose not? while you sleep. Toya sells hers. Who's Toya? Lil Wayne, baby mama. Bonnets to go to, I mean, to go to the club yeah. in, though? You talking about bonnets not to, to go to, to the, the club. You talking about bonnets to Ain't nobody to wearing on. no bonnet to the club. I'm just saying. You talking about bringing it to the bar, though. No. I'm, I, what I was just saying, take me as I am. So if oh. I came on so the camera, t- yeah. If I came on the camera with my bonnet on, don't judge me. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to judge you. Why? Because that's what I do. That's not cool. What's cool? People. If go you to come the... in and you hey, got look. on a bonnet, I'm going to be like, okay. Jeff, what are you doing? Okay. okay, so look. People go to the bar looking all types of crazy. Okay, so you, you going to join the ne- crazy crew? You ain't... No, I never said that. But you ain't never seen nobody with a scarf on? Not in the club, no. You don't know that? Not in the bar. I seen somebody with, with uh, what's those things called? Uh, a bandana? No, 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 no. What? Those fucking them shoes, them little claws or whatever. What they call? Crocs. Crocs. I hate them shits. Why? They're comfortable. They stupid. They're comfortable. They stupid. Oh. I see Your people, opinion. I see people with those on the restaurants and clubs. I'll be like, what are y'all doing? It's comfortable. So you, okay, cool. I ain't wearing them, but I'm just saying. I bet I see a nigga play basketball, and that's all I know. First of all, that's not even good support, so I know that's not going to happen <laughs> you, unless you want to break an ankle or injure your knee. Right. But, no, Crocs are very comfortable. Why do they get popular, like, all of a sudden out of nowhere, though? Because They're like Casamigos. So they it's like a trend. That's Things that true. are trending. That's what I'm saying. When somebody... Mm-hmm. Rocks them and they see them and be like, oh shit, let me get, oh, I could bling my crocs up, put my widgets on. That's what they call you know? widgets? Yeah, I think, right? Oh, so you you hip to the uh to the to the crocs. Hey, I got a kid who wanted crocs. He want whatever he want on the crocs, and I just get them. Okay? That's crazy. And I thought I was gonna wear a pair, but that's not even me. I'm not even like a flip-flop type of girl. Casamigo crocs. Shout out to everybody wearing crocs. And drinking Casamigos. And drinking Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs and Casamigos. Crocs Casamigos. <laughs> Crocs okay. and Casamigos. Okay, okay. I'm not drinking that shit. That shit had you You did. You used to drink though. Casamigos. I'm Hell sure you no. did. Hell no. Fuck no. Yes, you Mm-mm. did. I get, I... You was ringing that bell with everybody else. Don't, <laughs> don't act like you. Don't what act What bell are you talking about? Wait, wait. What bell? Oh, I'm tripping. I'm thinking about Casa Azul. See? The girl? I think I'm a little I definitely was. Already. I was ringing that shit heavy. I buy that shit like it was water. Casa you know? Amigos. That shit's stupid, too. Casa Amigos. The Anejo. I don't know about Wait, wait. That Casa. 
Amigo. What the fuck is that? What is what am I saying? Casa Azul or Casa Amigos? What are we talking about? We're talking about the bell. You said y'all you was riding ringing the bell. Oh, because I thought we was talking about Casa Azul. Okay, so the Casa Azul, what are we talking about? Casa Azul or Casa Amigos? Which one? I don't know. We're gonna revert back to what you were stating. <laughs> Cause I don't I like that shit. It up. I don't like uh I Casa Amigos. It up. Casa am Azul. I not listening? Hello? You not. It's going too fast for Okay, me. yeah. All right, so <laughs> so back to Casa Amigos. Amigo. Yeah, that's that bullshit, just like the Casa Zo. Okay, you don't like the nail either? Nope. Yeah, it tastes a little funny, huh? It tastes weird. Yeah, it do. I mean, but it, that's anything gonna taste weird when you're used to what you, you used to. What, you know what? You know what? You know what now? Hey, people be busting out Resposado like that shit. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, they'd be like, oh, I'm drinking. I'm, what you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking uh, Casa Amigos Resposado. I'd be like, I'd be like, uh uh-uh, uh, this shit bomb. Like, no, it's not. That shit trash. That's that shit that they have when you go to Mexico. And that's why motherfuckers be getting sick. Throwing the fuck up. Throwing up. Because y'all drinking that nasty ass. Breast Posado. It's nothing against you people. Oh, she being racist today for sure. You got something against Virgos and it's something against people who drink Casamigos. You your pe- preference. Reposado. Reposado. The Reposado your, crew. Your preference. My crew, we ain't drinking that. We drinking an Anejo. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, yeah, I'm part of your crew then. Fuck it. Yeah, Sammy so, you know. Y'all got, a, y'all got an intake uh, form we, or something? Listen, we... <laughs> we don't even wake up with a hangover. You feel me? Like, no, no, I get up and get going. Get up and get going, going about our day and do it all over again. Okay. Right. But yeah. No. That Casa Amiga had your ass laying down for four and a half days. What? I, listen. <laughs> when I went to Mexico a couple months ago, I brought a bottle in the airport. I was like, I'm not <laughs> taking shots with y'all in the bar. I'm not doing none of that. I took a water bottle every time. Well, you it took was a bottle. To you go. took a bottle of anejo. The whole deal. Hell yeah, I bought that in the airport. Oh shit! It let you through. In the airport, once I got to Mexico. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Got you. Mm-hmm. Got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah. All right now. Walking out that bitch with my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> like a suitcase. Like a suitcase. Fuck that shit. I'm not drinking that shit. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I was. I was. I think we was out there for like five days too. I stretched that motherfucker. <laughs> I better was, put some yeah, water in that shit. Yeah, nah. The most I did was like a margarita or something. They had like this passion fruit margarita. Um, and they probably had resposado in it, but I know I wasn't drinking that much of it. So I, And I was already buzzed off of my anejo, so all I needed was one drink. Mm. I was good to go. So, yeah. Ca- Casamigos and Crocs. <laughs> That's funny. Get on the anejo and leave that shit alone. Yeah. All that other stuff, even the um, I see people walking around with the um white bottle. Of ca- well, actually, I don't see nobody buying that shit no more. What the Casa Azul, the white bottle? Somebody at the door, y'all. Mm-mm. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> yeah, but I don't see nobody uh, drinking that Casa Azul no more. I don't see that bottle nowhere. You know how on Instagram you'll see somebody with that bottle like, oh, we turning up. Because we got that shit. Because once something is now they got trending. Com- now they got Casamigos turning up. Everybody <laughs> want to buy it. That's just like when the Blue Bel Air came out. Oh, that my God. Quick. People was like, oh, this shit good. That, that shit, shit tastes is, like cotton candy. That shit tastes like it shouldn't even be... I'm not going to talk about nobody. You sound like a, they go being racist again. I know. That's why I said. <laughs> racist as hell. Yeah, take a sip. <laughs> anyway, Tiff is being racist today. We're going to, uh, you know, say keep the party going with this Casamigos and Crocs. I don't want to keep talking about Casamigos because <laughs> I don't like it. No, but do you notice how um, the Casa Azul, you've seen everybody turning up with that bottle on uh, the Instagram. Yeah. And now everybody's grabbing hey, the Casamigos. Hey, you know what that bottle was? Um, that that looked like the little lion, the gold one. That shit went. It came in and went fast. Same thing. So that's what I'm saying. When people see stuff trending on <clears throat> social media, they're like, oh. That's and great. then it's like you move on to the next. That just that just goes to show the um the the social media uh influence all kind of stuff. It influence alcohol. It influence 
uh, kids for sure because it's a lot of just weird shit going on, and it and it also in, influence relationships. Relationships is top tier, so there's Super never there's never not. Um, that's never gonna go away. It's, and it and and everybody you know, everybody a lot talking of about sneaky links now. Want to influence, um, you know, the whole black love thing when people are getting engaged, and that's all fine and dandy. But mm, oh my god, did you see that Instagram post with the girl um, proposing to the guy? And oh he yeah, got he walked, up and he walked, walked out away. With her friend. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> don't drop the cup. Yeah, that, that yeah. What do you think? That I what. If the, it was something like that to you, uh, done to you, what would you do? First of all, I'm not proposing to no. You wouldn't no like man. if you if you love. That. Look, see, that's the thing. A lot of people be in a pride, like you stuck in your pride. Okay, like that, okay, she, okay. She stuck. She stepped out of her pride zone and did what she felt like was on her heart. No matter if it was the, the embarrassing or not, and everybody looked at it a certain type of way, or however the culture looks at the fact that the man is supposed to, you know, what I'm saying, do that, do that, do what she did, but. She stepped out of her pride. Everybody's stuck in their pride. What if you stepped outside of your pride and somebody did that to you? First off, let me just... Uh, <laughs> I, I will answer your question. Yeah, you need to. But um, I just feel like, yes, maybe it is a culture thing. It is a generational thing. Like, yes. the man is supposed to propose to the woman. But I feel like at the same time, too, <clears throat> men operate differently from women. Women are emotional creatures, okay? So we work based off our emotions. So if I love the fuck out of you, and yes, I do want to marry you, I would want to propose to you. But at the same time, too, I feel like if you're not mentally there, I don't want to force you to marry me. Mm. It looks so like I he... feel like I feel like when you step out of your comfort zone or your or you know you put aside your pride. It becomes forceful on a man. Like, I'm pressing you to do something that mm-hmm. I want you to do. I don't think it's mutual because if, if that was the case, he would not definitely I walk that, away. I, I think that a lot of stuff is forceful. Like, sometimes men force women into relationships. Sometimes women force men into relationships. Everything goes that way. Yeah, that's why but, it's, it's, that's why it's good to just take time and get to know the person that you're dealing with. That way, that way y'all just kind of like organically be together because if y'all can't stay away from each other for a week without no contact without killing killing <laughs> without without chilling with each other or trying to find something to do with each other or something like that then i don't think that you should try to be with that person like that and it just don't make right sense. so that's where i'm coming that's that's my point right i don't want it to be forceful i want the feelings to be mutual you understand so you would what never I'm do saying? that mm. you would never get in on one knee no never no, I ain't even gonna lie. Not even if I love the fuck out of you or whatever the case may be. You would let it be what it is. You be like, I love you, but shit, I ain't getting on my knees. I'm not getting on my knees. I mean, <laughs> I don't go there. I look, look, I don't go there. It look like you want to go there. We open bar, but you know, probably got kids listening. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, shout out to the kids. I just know one thing y'all better have your own mindset. Don't let nobody. Turn y'all into that something part. that y'all don't need to be. Okay, be all you can be, like the army say. But don't join the army though. Fuck that army. I know, but I'm just saying. I was just using the. Not phrase. like that. I mean, I'm not against. But you know, it's a lot of stuff that is going around on social media. You know, TV now. Like I don't even want my baby watching TV. Oh yeah. You know? Did you see? Did you see the? Um, well, you probably, you probably. I know you don't watch TV. We talked about that before, but there's a TV show called um, "Dear White People" out on Netflix right now, mm-hmm. and I don't get it. It's a black young man mm-hmm. who is allegedly gay, and he's in, he's engaging in all these activities, and it's called "Dear White People." It, I don't get it. I don't mm-hmm. get it. So that, okay, so that's something I'll you know I'll look into. We'll discuss it next time. Go yeah, around. You gotta watch that show. Um, because sure. again, you know, my son, he's turning on all types of shit now on Netflix. He, he turned on Freedom Writers last night, and I was just like, how you 
finest movie. He's like, what it was that? nothing else to watch, Mom. What is that? Um, remember, it was the teacher um, who taught the class. Um, I think it was like high school, I'm for sure. But, you know, it, it was a lot of kids that were going through stuff, and she had them writing them down in a journal, and she took them to museums. She just let them um, have a freedom of speech, but through writing. Mm. But it was girls in gangs. It was, you know, I think so one a, of the it's girls. A good, it's a good show. It's No, it was a movie. It was a good movie, then. Mm-hmm. I need to check it out. Yeah, you ain't never seen Freedom? Never Earth? seen it. Oh, yeah, you need to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of uh, gaming now. Oh, God. <laughs> what, you be, what you be on? Yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Hey, I, I used to fucking hate Call of Duty. Why? Because I couldn't play it. I mean, I feel like it's a... Sh- sh- uh, how you say it? <laughs> I don't know how you say what you want to say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. But <laughs> Call of Duty is fun. I feel like once you get the hang of it. I just yeah, feel it like it was kind of nerve-wracking to me because the controller, it's like I think you got to set the controller to your pace or your speed or something because yeah, you gotta I felt like I was all over the place and I just would get frustrated and I feel like I was just dying because I couldn't see where niggas was coming from. <laughs> so, but I think it's actually fun once you get to learn how to play that shit. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm on that a lot lately. I think I'm going to start like streaming as not not a professional, but just streaming just to, to get better and, and show my progress. Hey, and that shit, you get the linking and talking to people in like them group chats and shit, they'll probably be. Yeah, it's, yeah, that, they, do that. Mm-hmm. It, they do that. They do that. We, yeah. we, we, we um, go into like random lobbies when you be like four people. Maybe people on there like, what's your loadout? And tell you like the, the certain guns that help you um, either either be mobile better or shoot further or have no recoil. This shit, is, it gets deep. It gets real deep. So yeah, my um, my brother in law turned me on to that shit, like the okay. Call of Duty shit though. Like join, join, join the party. Yeah, I had to get on. I had to. I had to get out of my loser phase. I was on that motherfucker, dying like a motherfucker. And then yeah, I start shooting niggas. Talk I'm about like, you, nigga. Yeah. Hey, they will talk about you. They will kick you out <laughs> for real. They will. I got kicked out. I said, what the fuck just happened you here? You booted. Yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. out of here. <laughs> They'll talk bad what? about you. Like, nigga, why you didn't help me when I was yeah. getting shot? Yeah, all <laughs> of that. take it serious. Yeah, the niggas don't play with that. Right. So I ain't been watching too much TV. I've been on that shit heavy. Well, I don't like TV anyway. I listen to a lot of music on YouTube. What kind of music What kind of music gets you in a, in a, in a motivational piece, space? Because R&B gets you in, in a vibe, but it'd be more so like sexy vibe. Or, you know what I'm saying? But what puts you in a peaceful No, because everybody doesn't have that sexy vibe. So it just mm. depends on how I'm feeling. Because, you know, I could wake up and I want to listen to Ari Miller and I'm cleaning up my house. Who is Ari Miller? Ooh. Did you mess up my, my favorite artist's uh, name? Please, Ari please. Oh. Kaylin must be talking about me. Ooh. Shout out to Ari up. Miller, though. The homegirl made candles. But anyways, Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox, for sure. Yeah. Ari Lennox is dope as fuck. Yeah. I I, I, I get up in the morning, uh, you know, if I'm getting dressed, cleaning up, I'll turn on. So that's your go-to? Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox. Mm -hmm. I like her. She's a whole vibe to me. I forgot the song that I like. I saw a whole bunch of... I just got I like it. yeah 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 apartment. I like yeah. Shea Butter though. Shea Butter dope. Oh yeah. Shea Butter dope as hell. Shea Butter. But I baby. swear, like I'm still bumping her. I don't care. Dope. I love Enchanting. Enchanting. But I like Enchanting. I need you to, you know. <laughs> See, that was your little pass. You yeah. trying to make. <laughs> 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 Shout out it to up. Enchanted, though. Yeah, man. shout out to Enchanted. She's she she, dope. She's a I mean, vibe, y'all. I've been following her since shit. Her, she's a vibe. Yeah, she's I, 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 I mean, I know they took your old stuff off Apple Music, and probably because it wasn't... Um, resonating with the people that it was supposed to resonate with. Or whatever the better. case may have been, but... That's your heart. You're a whole vibe, girl. So, shout, shout out. out to you. Yeah. Um... What else you listen to? Who else to? I listen to? When I be on my ratchet shit? Mm-mm. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, no, I'm like R&B. And I, when I'm 
in the mood, I listen to my little bedroom mix. They have it on YouTube too. Mm. That should be dope. You know, uh, specific artists that you uh, well, you just said Ari Linux. Yeah, Ari, but Ari came out of nowhere though with that with the shea butter. You gotta respect I'm, that. I'm a, Jake, shout out to J Cole. I'm just uh, with the good vibe music. Yeah, that's all across the board. Yeah, she she do the damn thing with that. She dope. Um, no, I don't have like a specific person that I just listen to. I'm do you think you, do you think we should do like a um like a top ten countdown like type thing with, with like R and B we should do R and B one time and then we should do rap one time. Yeah, we should. Y'all 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 shoot us shoot us a comment, shoot us some 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 emails, some Instagram DMs, yeah. something like that to show show what kind of music y'all let, like listening to and let's try to put know. it together. Let your put girl it together know. and try to do a top ten yeah. countdown. Of what 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 our listeners like to listen to, you feel me? We already got ours. I got mine. I know you got yours for sure. Yeah, I, so. I mean, hey, it, honestly, like YouTube, <clears throat> after so long, it just automatically makes the playlist for you. Like, yeah. I think I think that it's a lot of dope ass un the ground unknown artists too, because I always I always run into them. But not only that, um, Apple Music will put them out there too for you. New artists. Mm-hmm. Not new artists. They probably had it. They could probably got a. I'm talking about independent, underground, and people don't even know about. Like, you say somebody putting their shit out independently. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm pretty sure. So it. Uh, I don't think that matters, right? Because even if you were on, um, even if you put something out on Apple Music, that don't mean you're not independent. It do. If you put something out on, on, on Apple Music, you can be independent. Because no. my artist got, Jay Lotto got music out on Apple Music. And he's, indep- no, he's independent. No, I'm, okay, so maybe I said it wrong. That's what I'm saying. Okay. There are people on there that I'm sure that are independent. But what I'm saying is, like, when they bring out, like, new music or whatnot, um, depending on what playlist you may run into, because, like, if you was to filter it to go, like, under new artists and stuff, there are some people on there that you probably never heard before. Yeah, but they but they they have been heard of. The artists that I know, them they only got like three thousand followers, maybe less than that. Mm. Like, uh, what's his name? I just worked with. I just shot a video for him. Is uh, <clears throat> Jamerson? I'm a, I'm actually having him on here. We gonna have to bring some. We gonna have to we gonna have to expand our horizon and bring some people into. I the I mean, bar. yeah, I told you, like you know, gotta bring we him into have, the bar. You know, new artists. New guests. We're gonna talk about businesses, you know, <clears throat> everything. This is open Sir. bar, open everything. The door is open to whoever. So Yeah, we're about to we're about to turn this up right yeah, quick. Yeah, for sure. Turn it all the way up. Get these get this get this vibe going with this, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a whole vibe over here. About to bring them into the bar, play this play this music, play this this good vibe, get these open conversations going about Everything we, I don't really too much care about the political shit because I think that that's like too far into a mix of bullshit. So I don't, I don't, me personally, I don't know if nobody else feel that way about politics or whatever. You know, that's like that's like First, being in the I, hood that you ain't again. From. That's just like me turning on <clears> the news. <throat> I mean, it's good to be um, in tune with the world so you understand what's going on. But I'm not her, so. If y'all looking for that on this podcast, you might want to just turn it off because you're not <laughs> going to get it here. Um, you know, I I, just I mean, you don't might get, get it. You it. might get a little bit, but we ain't about to go into. You're not. Like you're that. not going to get it here. <laughs> I'm just being honest. So that, that's not what I'm here for. Right. Um, I'm I'm just here to, you know, talk to people about maybe things that people aren't talking about. They're afraid to talk about. Um, you know, this podcast can be informational when it comes to certain things, depending on who comes on the, you know, on the podcast. Um, yeah, so y'all know, just stay tuned. We about to have some good drinks, too. Y'all got to watch out. We finna, we finna develop another mobile bar and hookah situation. And I'm, I'm only saying that because I only say For stuff that I'm going to do. For the people who are in California. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay motherfucking tuned. And I don't say nothing I ain't going to do. Nah, we doing the damn thing. That part. 
But um, we gonna get up out of here, y'all. Y'all better make sure y'all come back. Well, y'all already been coming back. Y'all been coming shout back. Out to, every shout out day. to all, everybody that's been listening <laughs> in for sure, for sure. Man. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate that. you guys so much. But again, um, you know, any special topics, anything y'all feel like I should talk about? Because I'm about to talk about everything. Make sure y'all email me, us. Me and C4. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at Open Bar Podcast TV at gmail.com. Or and info. make sure y'all follow the Instagram. Go ahead. Go ahead. Open Bar Podcast TV at, at well, the Instagram Open See, Bar look, Podcast TV. Hey, know. it's the wine. I'm God sorry. Damn. My bad. My bad. See? Nah, we, we got don't it never though. close. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but for real though, man. Thank you for everybody listening. And we gonna get out. Bye now.